going to make a short video for to instruct those of you using the Epson EcoTank uh, 4750 or 4760 or any of those printers on how to scan to it. So with the software would be this icon, the Epson Scan 2. Uh, when you click on this, it uh, opens this dialog box. You'll see um, it's the 4750. Uh, you don't have to worry about this. Auto detect gives you the option of scanner glass ADF. Auto detect is will automatically load anything you put in there. Um, you can change it to black and white or color, but grayscale. 200 DPI is a good resolution to get a a good image. Um, if you need it to be, if you have a large file, you can go down to 150. I would not recommend anything lower than that. Uh, if you need a picture or something like that, you can go higher. But for the stuff we use, 200 is usually uh, pretty good. Um, the uh, the rotate, you can turn it around if you want. Um, I'm not even sure what doc documents Q is. Um, make sure this is checked at or edit uh, pages after scanning. Uh, you can make it PDF, or you should make it PDF or searchable PDF. In this case, I'm making a searchable PDF. Um, the file name is something you'll have to do. You'll just uh, click on this um, and hit settings and you can name it whatever you want. Um, I've made this one demonstration for these purposes, uh, but you can change it to, to whatever you want it to be. Hit OK. Um, and the folder do you want it to be in. Um, this one is going into documents, but uh, if you want it to go into something else, you can have it go into desktop. desktop. Um, you can, uh, if you want to select something else, you can do that as well. Um, these are, I'm just going to leave this one in documents and uh, just scan. Here's a, uh, a second page of a voucher. I'm going to just load that into the doc document feeder. That's all you need to do. You go back here and hit scan. As you can see over here, that will automatically start feeding the uh, document. Oh, maybe I didn't load it in enough. But I wasn't in the loader yet. You can see over here, uh, it, it said scanning complete. It's asking if you want to edit, add, save, or cancel. Um, it's actually a good case. I, the first page is going to be blank because it just scanned from the glass. Uh, but you can hit add. And now it, I push the document in hard up so it's going to scan that. Um, these printers actually scan relatively slowly, uh, but it is a you can put 20 or 30 pages on there and do them all at the same time. And that makes it easier. When it gets to the end, it'll come back to that dialog box asking if you want to add add more pages. So if you have an extremely large file, you can do 10, 15 pages at a time. So I'm not going to scan anything else. I'm going to hit save. And demonstrate, it even comes up with the file where um, here in documents, the demonstration. The first page is blank because I scanned the scanner glass and nothing was on there. And this is the second page that I scanned. So I can close, close this out. Um, the file's right there. If I need to mail it something, say I'm mailing it to, uh, uh, emailing it to uh, a, a step three or something like that, I'm using my email box and put it wherever you are, but just take the file, left click on it, and drag it over here, drop files there, and then email it. Easy peasy.